Welcome to a quick sharp review of the Claymore Complete Box Set by uh, Norihiro Yagi. Um, I'm going to be talking about the structure of the box set and what you get in it. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the series itself uh, and then finally some music that I would recommend listening to if you're going to read this. Um, so Claymore, uh, the box set, has um, uh, come in this massive box. Um, it's very nice, just looking at the different sides, showing some of the mostly the main character and then some of the um, side characters and, and sort of creatures um, as well um, that have some amazing designs and Claymore is a series that's all finished the entire thing uh, is contained in this box set uh, some great art here on, on the inside and then you can see all the um, uh, spines of all 27 books that make up this series um, and they're just basic um, uh, manga volumes as you would get normally. Um, these ones uh, have usually the, the, the title is a bit uh, shiny. Um, it's got a bit of shiny silver and, and sometimes there'll be some details like the eyes are a little bit um, uh, shiny and reflective as well. Um, so uh, 27 volumes. Um, I haven't read any other works by Norihiro Yagi, but um, I quite like this one. Oh, sorry, I should also mention that the box set comes with um, Claymore illustrations. So this is a set of um, uh, drawings that um, the uh, that were the cover arts or the, the, the case arts uh, for the Japanese releases. I'll just see if I can find one. Sorry, with this book, sometimes you just gotta be careful that you don't get anything too graphic, but um, some really awesome um, original artworks um, here. Again, just trying to find something that's sort of safe for work. It's a bit hard uh, sometimes. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, um, but that's in there as well. So um, Claymore, if, if anyone uh, hasn't read Claymore, it's a story of um, Claire, who is uh, one of the titular Claymores. Um, they're these warriors that um, are, are, are basically employed or, or, or created by an organisation to um, uh, destroy these monsters, Yoma, who uh, eat humans. And they're called Claymores because they wear um, these, these swords um, that are called Claymores uh, on their backs, and, that, and that's, that's what they kill them with. Um, because they have... Um, part you know they are part claymore they um, have some of the strength of that and then um, as the story goes on uh, it becomes less about um, destroying th these these yoma and, and and more about putting down um, rogue claymores and, um, and and things sort of just progress from there I don't want to give too much away um, I really love the artwork in this series and particularly the monster designs and just some of the way that um, this sort of uh, gore and violence is, is depicted it's sort of um, sometimes really quite like abrupt like you know you'll see like half a person's head sort of thing uh, it's quite interesting I first read this it was one of the first manga series that I read um, along with Berserk and sort of informed a lot of my taste about um, uh, about different uh, things in media um, but it's a really great series um, I'll just flick through a couple more of these. It's not the most character-driven story. Um, I, I think it, it, is, it works really well for um, something that has some really great action um, and uh, some good mystery towards the, the sort of first half um, sort of uh, progresses in interesting ways. The, the, the fight scenes are really good. Some of the characters are, are fun um, and they've all got their own little quirks in, in terms of like the way they fight. Um, but it's the character, de or the, the monster designs I should say, that really sell this. I don't want to um, look at too far in to, to spoil them but I'll see if I can find um, uh, one of the um, one of these legendary awakened beings that um, put uh, some of the monster designs in Berserk to shame. Um, I mean that yeah, like this sort of this sort of thing just hide some of that stuff. But like, <laughs> um, I'll see if I can find one that's a little bit more safe for work. Yeah, this sort of stuff is really cool. Um, 
uh, in terms of music that I would recommend listening to, uh, I listened to the um, Nier Automata soundtrack and Nier Replicant soundtrack when um, reading this. I think it fits well. It's got sort of like epic fight music and it's got some like melancholy music. Um, there's also a lot of similar themes, I think, to this um, as within uh, Nier Automata, sort of the... Um, uh, the themes of like being like part like of an organization and um, sort of uh, that has ulterior motives and sort of mysterious and, and shadowy sort of stuff and um, feeling uh, themes of like um, honor and duty and futility also like uh, female female warriors who have like white hair and stuff. Look at these monster designs. So awesome. Some of them are so, so interesting. Like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, uh, but yeah, that's what I recommend reading. Uh, if you're going to read this, um, I also, when I first read Claymore, I listened to the um, the Final Fantasy VII um, Crisis Core soundtrack. Also, again, similar themes about working for an organisation and... Um, and and rebelling somewhat against that organization and and realizing the futility of of your life and, and your duty um have you read claymore uh what do you think do you think that the character progression is good in it i, th I think it's sort of lacking compared to things like um berserk but the action the the, the monster designs i think uh, make up for it and, and this is a really nice box set um let me know if uh you want to see anything else and if you're going to read claymore okay thanks bye